general, reading is a fabulous way to pass the time. However, there are some books out there that are said to be so evil that even opening them could curse you for eternity. Welcome back horror fans, my name is Kennedy and today we are diving into the deepest and darkest literature that has ever seen the light of day. So grab those reading glasses and let's count down the top 10 disturbing books that you should never have opened. Starting us off at number 10, The Book of Soiga. During Queen Queen Elizabeth I's reign, one of her trusted advisors, John Dee, was a mathematician and astronomer who was beyond obsessed with the occult, who with the help of his medium, spent much of his life trying to decipher this strange magic Latin book. Often referred to as the book that kills, it is said that John Dee struggled to decipher the final 36 pages, so he summoned the archangel Uriel to help with the translation. However, Uriel explained that the book only came into existence when Adam ended paradise, and so it could only be interpreted by the archangel Michael. However, what's perhaps most interesting and strange about this book is that after John Dee's death in the early 17th century, the book disappeared off the face of the planet for 385 years, only showing up again in 1994 when two copies appeared, one in a British library, the other in a Bodleian library. Now, scholars are still trying to figure out its mysteries, but the book is not an easy code to crack. So far they've found a disturbingly complicated codex of demonology, magical incantations, and astrology, all of which could potentially cause quite a bit of havoc should the book end up in the wrong hands. Plus, if the legend surrounding it is true, then whoever deciphers the final 36 pages is fated to die within two and a half years. Coming in at number 9, The Necronomicon. Besides being a tongue twister, The Necronomicon is a truly nightmarish book that not only is said to contain the power to resurrect the dead, but it's also described as being bound in human skin. So already we're off to a cursed start. Now to be fair, the catch with this book is that it is a fictional grimoire that at one point in time only only existed in the world of horror writer H.P. Lovecraft. However, as notoriety grew for the book, a physical version was created, and some say that it holds all the same horrors as the Necromicon from Lovecraft's writings. Essentially, the fear around this book is that while its origins may have been fictional, bringing it into existence could have brought forward the demons that it speaks of, and some believe that opening it could open up a whole world of demons this world is not prepared to face. Coming in at number 8, The Munich Manual. Sometimes referred to as the Necromancer's Manual, this 15th century Latin grimoire centers solely around demonology and the use of dark magic. But what exactly is so spooky about this book? Well, the manual is broken down into three sections, illusionist magic, psychological magic, and divination. And and goes into intricate details about how to use each of these kinds of magic to get what you want from people. Illusionist magic is pretty much what it sounds like, creating spells that trick people into seeing things that aren't there, while psychological magic is meant to emotionally manipulate others, and of course divination is used to see into the past or future. Now I suppose, like anything, in the right hands this wouldn't be so bad, but we're imagining the worst possible scenarios over here. Plus, if it were just those three things, we might be able to brush it off, but it also goes into how to summon demons and such, so yeah, definitely not a book that should have ever been opened. Coming in at number 7, The Orphan Story. Unlike some of the others on this list, this next book isn't an ancient text or evil manual, but an epic novel written in the early 17th century by Martin de Leon y Cardenas, a monk who broke his sacred vow. However, before you get too comfortable, 
let me tell you why this is a book you should stay very, very, very far away from. Despite being written some 400 years ago, this book wasn't actually published until 2018. And the reason being is that prior to that, every other publication fell through because the involved parties kept dying under mysterious circumstances. Some fell ill and died suddenly, others got into freak accidents, and this pattern continued for just about every one who came into contact with it. Which, I don't know, maybe that should have been a sign, but hey. Coming in at number 6, Voynich Manuscript. Filled with bizarre symbols, undecipherable language, and crude drawings of nude women, the Voynich Manuscript is mainly of concern because no one is actually able to determine what the heck it's about. So I guess it's kind of a devil you know versus devil you don't kind of situation. From what experts have been able to decipher, the manuscript appears to date back to Central Europe, sometime in the late 15th century or early 16th century, and is thought to be an occult book of some kind due to the references to medicinal herbs and zodiac symbols. But beyond that, it's kind of one large mysterious and creepy book with with an unknown author. The first known owner of the book was an alchemist, George Barash, but strangely, George apparently had no idea what the book was or how it became one of his possessions. Which I mean, it's definitely very, very odd. Of course, like many unsolved mysteries, there are some conspiracy theories that have followed it around, the wildest one claiming that the text was brought to Earth by aliens, hence why George would have no knowledge of how it came to be in his house and would explain why no one can figure out the language it's written in. Believers in this conspiracy also say that deciphering the manuscript will unleash the curse, killing anyone who reads it from that point forward. I mean, could it be nothing? Sure. But does that mean I am keen to find out for myself? Absolutely not. Coming in at number 5, The Aura Linda Book. So I will start off by saying that the general belief is that this book is not a real ancient text, but rather a forgery disguised to look like one. However, forgery or not, it was still written by someone and is super duper evil, so it definitely deserves a spot on this list. The Oralinda book first came to public awareness in the 1860s. However, it wasn't until the 1930s when the so-called historical manuscript became became a favorite of World War II Germans and its association with occultism began. Leaders like Heinrich Himmler considered this book the Nordic Bible and believed that it confirmed that the Aryans were the original people of Atlantis and essentially all of Western civilization, thus further embedding their views of white supremacy. To this day, there are some with the same beliefs as Himmler who use this book to defend their twisted beliefs, and for that reason, it may just be the darkest book of all. Coming in at number 4, The Picatrix. Presumed to be from the 11th century, this grimoire of Arabic magic has long been considered one of the most disturbing books in history. Now, unlike some of the others on this list, you won't find much about demons or the devil, but instead scholarly work filled with philosophy, astrology, and medieval science, which by itself would be just fine. But along with all of that are some of the most insane recipes known to man. Mankind. For example, there are recipes for concoctions that mix humans and animals' blood, brains, urine, and other bodily fluids with opium or other dangerous substances, promising to achieve magical results. Some recipes promise a transfiguration of sorts, for example. Should you wish to appear in the form of an animal, all you have to do, apparently, is take the semen of a healthy man and put it in an eggshell, together with the semen of the animal you wish to become. From there, simply leave the egg buried in warm manure for three days, and your wish will be granted. Now, that is just one spell. There are hundreds of others to choose from, but if that's the general vibe, then, well, I'm good. Coming in at number three, The Lesser Key of Solomon. Also known as the Clavicula Salomonis Regis, The Lesser Key of Solomon is believed to be a cursed grimoire of demonology that should absolutely never be toyed with. Now, 
Now, no one is entirely certain who the author or authors were, but it's estimated to have been compiled somewhere in the 17th century, which kind of makes it extra creepy, just considering that it's an old book with no known author. Inside the cursed book, you can apparently find recipes for love potions or liquors of persuasion. And if that isn't quite up your alley, do not fret. It's also said to contain passages on how to conjure spirits and demons, as well as how to control these entities to do your bidding. Which, frankly, if you are conjuring a demon, I'm not sure there is much you, a human, could do to control it. But also, I'm not out to test that theory. so. Who knows, maybe I'm wrong. On top of detailed instructions about how to conjure dangerous demons, there is also a guide on how to become invisible, as well as locate missing objects, which at least that's a bit more practical. But either way, this is not a book you should be snooping around inside, as it's reportedly so cursed that it will doom anyone who so much as has it on their bookshelf. Allegedly, those that have owned it have experienced the book flying violently across the room, pages turning by themselves, and haunting visitations from a shadow creature, which pretty much proves that this book should have never been opened in the first place. Coming in at number two, Codex Giga. If there was a contest for the largest book, I would definitely put this one in the running. Measuring three feet long and weighing 165 pounds, this Latin manuscript is not only massive in size, but also massive in terms of the amount of disturbing content that can be found inside. Written in the 13th century by a Benedictine monk, this gigantic manuscript contains a wide-ranging array of information, from a complete copy of the Bible to how to perform an exorcism. So why is it so disturbing, you might be wondering? Well, first off, besides the Bible stuff, it's filled with dark rituals and imagery, including a 19-inch drawing of the devil. But the real curse all has to do with its origins. According to legend, it said the monk who wrote the novel had actually broken his vows, and so was sentenced to die entombed behind a brick wall. His fate closing in on him, the night before his death, he decided to write down everything he knew about the human experience. However, as you can probably imagine, not many people can write a 620 page book in one evening, especially when you have to manually scribe the entire thing. So realizing he would not finish before he would be sent to death, he summoned Lucifer and in exchange for his help, offered his soul for the rest of eternity. Meaning, the book was allegedly completed by the devil himself. And last up today in our number one spot, the Grand Grimoire. Widely regarded as the most potent and deadly of the occult books in existence, the Grand Grimoire was written sometime in the 16th century and remains not only one of the most disturbing books of all time, but just maybe the most dangerous one too. As legend has it, the author of this grimoire was possessed by the devil at the time of writing, and so over time it has also become known as the Gospel of Satan and it's certainly filled with enough dark content to make that seem true. Filled to the brim with dark incantations that can allegedly teach readers how to summon powerful demons or even bring back the dead, it's said that anyone who so much as opens the book is offering their soul to the devil. Which is a pretty hefty price to pay for opening a book. However, if you are looking to command a legion of demons, I suppose that Satan's gotta get something out of it. Now, jokes aside, this book is actually said to be so dangerous that it currently resides inside the Vatican's secret archives, as not only does it possess the capability to destroy the world as we know it, but it's rumored to be completely indestructible as well, even by fire. So for obvious reasons, you should not go opening this one. Well, there you have it folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't be shy, hit that subscribe button and let me know down in the comments the most cursed book you've ever heard about. I'll see you next time friends. Mm -hmm.